I'm Karen Bielhart. I'm a comics creator, writer and editor. I used to read strip comics before I discovered graphic novels, um, so I came late to comics really. Uh, so the things that I loved at first when I was a child were things like uh, Thin Ice and Asterix and Obelix and uh, Calvin and Hobbes, that sort of thing. Uh, and then later it was Sandman and Craig Thompson's work, Blankets. Just really fell in love with books and reading, full stop, and wanted to make books. Like, it wasn't so much, oh, I really, really want to tell stories. It's, I want to make books, even to the point of creating physical books and magazines in my spare time, you know, out of, you remember that really old computer paper, the ones with the strips down the side that you tear off? I used to make books out of those. <laughs> I wanted to get into writing uh, mostly to tell stories. I really enjoyed losing myself in worlds and just being absorbed with characters and making them do things that I wanted to do. And also a lot of the people that I admired growing up were writers and I just thought this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. If I had to choose anything that I want to do with the rest of my life, this would be it. Kinds of Blue is an anthology of stories about different aspects of depression, like depression in work and depression in relationships. I know that everybody's depression is different and it looks different to other people. So some of it I know is about other people's experiences because I have a lot of friends who suffer from depression and um, just from talking to them and living through it with them, I took some of that and put it into the stories. Some of it does come from me, but it's not completely me, if that makes sense. So I wrote 10 of the stories in that one and then uh, my friends wrote the other three. It is quite interesting with comics that comics does something that just straight writing prose doesn't do. So when you want to express things about depression and words are not enough, the pictures carry a lot. So I found that using comics to talk about depression is actually really, really powerful. And even since then, when I've seen other comics that deal with the same kind of subject matter, it is still really, really powerful. Monsters is a comic anthology and it's all ages, but it was written for kids, basically preschoolers and up. It was written because my eldest daughter at the time, she said, Mommy, I'm really scared of monsters. And I thought it'd be cool to write a whole anthology of monster stories for kids about fear. So it's got stories about being scared of the dark, about being scared of the monster under the bed, uh, being scared of strange people or strange food and things like that. And it's also got some wonderful drawings by different kids who decide to draw their own monsters, but also write about the monsters. I think that's the best bit when they write about the monsters and describe them. So um, that was shortlisted for the Ledger Awards in 2017. And I worked on it with about, I think it was nine different creators. So I wrote all the stories and I drew one and you'll know exactly which one it is when you open the book because it's the worst one. Eternal Life is a um, science fiction graphic novel that I did with Paul Wong Pan. We did it over five years together. It is sort of like an indie drama. It's sort of about uh, kindred spirits meeting. There's a girl named Bri. She ends up on a space station in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night and she meets a boy named Dan who lives there with his family and she ends up getting stranded there and his family ends up taking her in and looking after her and then her past kind of catches up with her because she was sort of fleeing from a, a bad breakup and, and, and stuff so yeah that that one is a very kind of gentle story about two people who kind of find each other but it's not um, yeah, it's still science fiction, but it's kind of more about like the way that time affects people and affects relationships. I'm also in the process of trying to get a novella that I wrote up to the stage of publication. So that's just been through um, a, a round of edits and I'll have to do a few more before I can actually put it out. But that novella is about a girl who, she lives in the near future and the birth rate is dropping. So the government's quite concerned and as a result they've instituted this citywide dating program that runs over the summer and it's compulsory for people between certain ages and she decides even though she's not quite sure if she wants a relationship she decides to participate in this program and i've called it the dating game the thing that drives me to keep on creating things is it's just wonderful to put things out there in the world it's always a risk you always feel super vulnerable when you do it but it is a lot of fun. It gives me great joy. 
Sometimes it gives other people great joy, which is really, really lovely too. Um, there's nothing better than having readers come up and tell me, hey, I read this thing that you made and it touched me in some way, or I really enjoyed it, it made me laugh, or, or whatever it is. Um, people of all ages actually, like especially when they're kids. Uh, one thing that I also really, really love is occasionally I get to visit schools and talk to schools about comics and read my comics to kids. And then I see them starting to make things too, like not just comics, but other things. And that's so cool because I think when you start young and you're able to engage in some kind of artistic practice and express yourself through that, then it just sets you up for the rest of your life because it's something that gives you joy. It gives back to yourself and it also gives to others as well. People can find my work on my website, which is hivemindedness.com. And I'm also on Twitter. Twitter is probably the platform I use the most. And my handle there is kbeels, K-B-E-I-L-Z-S.